I've got just about every model of camera that you could even see. Al Bullock shot thousands of photographs as a professional news photographer. But last year, a San Mateo red light camera caught him on the other side of the lens. My daughter and son-in-law said, why don't you just pay it? And I said, well, that's what other people are doing. Bullock was ticketed, making a right turn in view of the red light camera in front of the police station. Two weeks later, I get these pictures in the mail, and I say, wait a minute, I remember that day. But while examining the intersection where he was ticketed, he made a discovery. See how quick that was? That yellow light was less than three seconds right there. So I decided to fight it. I, I'm retired, and I had time, and I felt I was right. Under California law, that yellow light is required to last at least 3.6 seconds, 1002, which led Bullock's lawyer to call his client as an expert witness. I've never been an expert witness for myself, but I've been an expert witness dozens of times on photographs. But the magistrate overseeing the case balked, saying, I'm not going to consider you an expert witness. If you recall, she then found me guilty. We're really happy with it. The accident rates have gone down significantly at these intersections since the program started. Assistant City Attorney Bahar Abdullahi said that the red light camera tickets do bring in revenue, but not all of it goes to the city. There is revenue generated, but you know there's costs in running the program. There's administrative costs, there's staff fees, there's the payment to Red Flex themselves for providing the equipment. San Mateo's contract with the Red Flex an Australian outfit guarantees the city will not have to pay the company more money than the tickets generate. Bullock's lawyer filed an appeal, arguing that this arrangement violates state law. And so Frank Iwana took care of from then on, and then he called me and said, Al, you won't believe this, but you beat the case. They reversed your, your charge. Within weeks, the city council voted unanimously to revise the contract. But Abdullahi says the changes had nothing to do with Bullock's yeah, victory. No, not. They really aren't related. Um, it was something that we had wanted to clean up anyways, and um, we really don't know why Mr. Bullock's appeal was upheld. I believe that they should give every one of the people that were charged, I don't care what money they were charged, give them their money back. This is Josh Wolf reporting for CNS News.